Hello and welcome back to the next edition of my Communist Iran playthrough in Hearts of Minds. Um, I literally just launched the game, so I'm going to have to do some uh, thinking and looking around. Uh, this is the second recording session for me. Uh, not that you need to know that, really. But uh, yeah, just a few minutes ago I actually updated the mod with a a small bug fix for the last version that would have uh, affected this campaign actually um, and fixed an issue I couldn't work out why it was happening but it, of course it was a, st it was a stupid typo um, where basically countries would be set to go uh, towards communism but they would pick um, diplomatic ministers and yet would pick, uh, you know, communist focuses, and that was because I misspelt uh, misspelt the flag in the file. So, yeah, so there might may have actually been some more uh, communist countries um, popping up, which would have been interesting, and uh, probably will happen in anyone's game. Like these guys, do they have? So they have lots of democratic leaders and yet they've picked uh, the communist route um, they would have picked they should be picking communist ministers so yeah this game is you know affected by it permanently now but that's uh, that's okay reposition myself okay so we've just finished uh, conquering Iraq and now I need to think about what I'm actually going to do with myself. I'm just going to garrison some areas, I guess, just to uh, spread out my units. Can I? How many? How many uh, weapons do these troops need? Okay. Let's do some some more of these guys. What was the world like? So there's oh yeah, loads of allies and loads of potential, potentially uh, even more allies with Turkey. Uh, and I think Bulgaria, did they go? Oh, they haven't actually flipped, but they've kind of gone towards democracy. But again, it looks like these guys actually want to do communism, but because of the bug, my mistake, they've... Uh, picked these ministers. They may actually swap them out now, I'm not sure, but uh, that'll take time anyway. So actually, we would have had communist Greece and Bulgaria had I not um, effed up, basically. Um, and even communist Yugoslavia, so that would have been a very different game. But, uh, ah well, it makes it more challenging, right? Which actually, now I think about it, that could be an interesting like difficulty setting. If the difficulty means that less countries join your ideology. Although obviously you can't predict what direction you're going to go in, but that would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, and Japan is still fighting the war in China, and it's actually only 39, so I guess we're going to see the war start this year, probably. So I guess Germany will pick, uh, yeah, there we go, Danzig or war straight away, so we're actually going to be in a position of peace. Um, I don't really know what my next move should be, because I'm totally surrounded by allies, so, or I could, well, Xinjiang, are they, I mean, I, I, could I, could I sneak into Xinjiang? I could, couldn't I? That would be hellish though, I'd never break through that. But I could like join the Soviets and then declare war on Xinjiang, and I guess that they'd, they'd be okay with that. Um, and then that would help. Oh, Tibet, what are you doing? You're going down communism. Himalayan Empire, Jesus. Because you see, I could like if I could get into Xinjiang, I could go into Tibet. I don't know, or I could 
Maybe if the allies are busy. What do I want? 39. Let's get me some. Guns. Better guns. Bigger guns. More expensive to make guns. Which I'm probably not even. might not even produce them. Well, maybe I should. I don't know. I guess if I have less infantry with better weapons, that will be good. Um, let's go down Doctrine. I think. Well, I'm not sure what. Do I have already a. a oh, yeah, I already have a, a thing. But anyway. Yeah, maybe when the Allies are busy, I'll uh, actually attack Saudi Arabia, maybe? Although I guess they'd just guarantee, won't they? I guess they will. And they're going democratic, so... They're definitely... Damn it. Bloody Allies. They're... Oh, Oman. Hello, Oman. Oh yeah, but I have no, no, uh, <laughs> no navy, which is a problem. I'm thinking Xinjiang is the option, but I'll never get, I'll never break through this province. Look at that sliver of land. Resource gain. I think I only have oil. Oh, I need. I haven't even researched. Transportation, let alone metal things that float in the water. <laughs> okay, I guess uh, naval invasion. Let's let's do. Yeah, I'm not got much artillery. So let's do this. Oops. Uh oh. Here we go. World War Two. What I have? 89,000 people? I need uh, stuff. Higher recruitment law, I guess. Service. I only have limited conscription. Okay. I could go straight up to this one, but that's not. That did, that did nothing. <laughs> wow, I got like 60,000 guys or something? 70,000? Okay. Let's do this because I have my uh, unity is pretty good now since I've had uh, jingoism for a while. I think if I remember correctly. Radio. Ah, see, one of these has finally joined the Soviets. Latvia, maybe. Yeah, you see, this is the same this situation. I think where they've chosen. Maybe they're, see, are they swapping out ministers? Or am I crazy? Let's have a look at these guys. I think they're swapping ministers. Because the AI um, has been changed by the actual, uh, by Paradox itself, to um, supposedly better select uh, these uh, new laws and things that people add. New I ideas. And uh, so I think they actually swap out ministers now as well. Um, so yeah, they should actually choose repick in this, even in this campaign. Okay, the Soviets are actually going to be pretty strong with Yugoslavia. Holy cow! Italy joined the Luxembourg joined the Allies. <laughs> Damn, their own faction as well. I need to uh, need to decide what I'm going to do. I don't know what the uh, democratic Saudi Arabia is. Probably just like Arabian Republic or something. Netherlands. Shit. Okay. I'm going to research something. I think if I if I'm about to get it, I'll wait. So are they at war with France already? Yes. Okay, so they've gone round uh, the Maginot Line already. Let's 
Good equipment. Motorization. I think I'll do that. Maybe I'll go down motorized. Oh, support equipment. Maybe that would be a nice idea as well. Although I forgot I just waited for a, for a doctrine and didn't do it, but okay. Japan join the Axis. Okay. They're still at war though. Oh, is it because they're in a different faction, I guess? Oh, this is the German war on Luxembourg. Okay, so the... Jeez, two separate wars. Why would why would they leave this? Seriously, the little two province uh, thing. Oh yeah, and Czechoslovakia got some, and they're fascist as well. I forgot about that. So SFR Yugoslavia. There we are. Oh, they actually got it. Whoa. Okay. Didn't think that was going to happen, but. Uh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Because we've got demo we're going to we're going to get an allies here in Turkey and we're going to get a common turn Yugoslavia, Greece and Bulgaria. And holy shit. Really? And maybe Romania too. So we'll have a big common intern uh, thing here in Europe. While the other two guys uh, smash each other's brains out. Swaraj movement. Wait, what? Wait. Were they also going to go common turn? Am I crazy? Did they have the same bug? I thought they were going democratic. Wow. But they were going to go common turn. Well, they're not going to. They're already in war, right? So that's not going to. Uh, yeah, so they can't leave. But that could be really good for us, I guess. Maybe if there's like a. A civil war or something? Wow, you see, my my, my typo, it was literally one one letter difference. Uh, could have meant this, this game was entirely different. And a lot more. Uh, a lot more communist countries. So, yeah, I need to probably like uh, retest the whole game just to see if it's uh, if there's too many like communists uh, popping up. But uh, well, there goes France. So, what am I going to do? Shall I declare war on Sinkiang? Shall oh, shall I just defy? Shall I join? Yeah, let's join. And then let's justify. Against Sinkiang. Holy shit, I can't wait to see these guys join. It'll be glorious, comrade. It will be glorious. Let's, since we are, oh, no, let's do this. I think we are actually building artillery. Okay, let's switch over. It's gonna hurt so much. Uh, how many factories do we have? Oh, uh, not many. My good friends in the Soviet Union. Give me some steel. Whoa, what does that mean? Hey, Finland. They've turned communist as well. Holy shit. Oh, uh, okay. 
Yeah, my typo really messed up things. Now I need to re probably probably affect the uh, rebalance things a little bit because uh, I probably like tried to overcompensate for the fact that uh, people weren't going uh, common to. But uh, yep, give me some factories. Oh, I should have joined. I should have done the. Uh, Ideology, uh, f uh, whatever it is, fanaticism. No, oh no, it's technology sharing. So I was thinking I could, uh, you know, get some research bonuses. Can I do war? Can I no, I can't. Cause I'm not at war. Yeah, that makes sense. That was a change that I have made. Uh, cause you know it's quite easy just to go into war economy and then you're set. I'd rather there was a bit more of a ramp. Towards it. Let's go for good god, good god. Let's go for artillery, since we're building some artillery and we have support equipment as well. Yay! We have 700 artillery pieces. Are you kidding me? We have 15,000. How did we get that much? What happened? I thought I had a thousand last time I looked. Let's build some more and let's not build any more because we have no men. What about if I do this? <gasps> nice. Every division has artillery, that's insane. It's the future of warfare, lads. Motorized. I mean, it's one day, let's do it. <laughs> there you go. That's great. I love mountain infantry, actually. I should have done that earlier, because I'm, I'm fighting in mountains more than I like. Uh, let's... and then also... You join these guys. Didn't I train some other people? Okay, they don't have great equipment, though. Or men, or whatever. They don't have great supplies, that's what I mean. It looks like they're on low strength. Um, I sort of wish I went for the artillery uh, thing now, since I have so many. So much of it. Are we gonna join the war already? Oh, not. What's gonna happen? Damn, he looks he looks serious. He's not enjoying it. Is this a separate war? I guess it still is, right? So they're not actually even at war with Italy yet. Okay. France is uh held out. For a decent length of time. What do they have? Uh, 60 to 98, it's quite a lot, I guess. Can't remember, can't remember how many to start with, but the Thai People's Republic. Alright, oh, communism. Go communism. Do you think I, I guess I could get the Soviets to help me with this war, couldn't I? Okay, let's uh, let's take everyone. Set one so that I still have the group, and let's do something like this. Need a new commander, let's keep him as a 24 of a guy, and they have a lot of troops, they have a lot more than I do. When's this going to be ready? Uh oh. Provisional democratic race. Why is it provisional? What's this? Call to arms against the German Reich, the Omani Empire, Greater Portugal, Hungary, and Italy. 
I mean, sure, why not? I, I mean, I have no reason to accept right now, but let's just do it. I mean, if I can... Yeah, you're not getting through my land. It'd be great if I could get down here, though. Do you think I could do that? Am I, can I do this? I mean, I shouldn't do too much, right? Because I'm gonna struggle against Sinkyang probably. Let's build some more. Or train some more. There's as many as I can train. Yeah, I'll be able to go up to the next one pretty quick, pretty soon. Because I'm not gaining very much. In a bit, I'll take off Jingoism, I think. The Union of Red Dragons. Nice. Okay, because this is technically a defensive war, a defensive position in the war. Wow, they've not been able to push at all, have they? Although they will, surely. Yeah, Hungary is uh, doing it. I really hope the, <laughs> the Soviets don't just collapse. It's, it seems like the Axis might just lose, maybe, but I don't know, because uh, if Spain joins as well, and you've got Portugal, that's a big, solid western front. I thought they were already invading, but okay. So they're just mopping up there, by the looks of it. This is uh, interesting. This is interesting. Doesn't look like I'm going to get much uh, I'm I'm hoping, I'm like assuming that the Omanis are not going to be able to just invade me navally because that would be a uh, that would be a pain to have to deal with. Oh really? Well, you should have declared war earlier, shouldn't you, really? This is actually probably taking the heat off uh, France. They've really held on. I guess it was the Italians that kind of pushed through. And actually Spain... Okay, here we go. Instantaneously, wow. They didn't have any troops there, UK. Actually, this is one thing I, I was seeing a lot in the... Um, and that we should keep an eye out on is uh, whether the UK can at all defend the island because uh, in the 1.3.3 um, beta Germany always successfully invaded the UK um, because the AI I guess just like threw away their navy or sent it away or something so it'll be interesting to see if um, if that happens still, or whether they fixed it just before release. I hope they did. Um, but we'll see, because the Allies may just fall pretty quickly. If the UK... Um, falls... what's this? The Yemeni Arab Republic? They're democratic. Are they not? They're not in the Allies, though. Um, okay... Let's change your colour, because I don't know why you'd have the same colour. Let's be red, because we're attacking other communists. Like the scum we are. And let's... I always pick these, uh, these ones, they're pretty cool. And I would like to launch a naval invasion of these guys. Um, 
there are four divisions. So when I get the next um, batch of troops, I will try and do a naval invasion because I guess that they won't have much any navy probably. Let's have a look. No, they have no navy. I can't naval invade because I haven't researched the thing. Damn it! Totally forgot about that. Damn. Don't have transports. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Well, we'll just do the Sinkiang. We'll be happy with this uh, load of... T 0 out of 25 unlock slots. Good lord. Good lord. It's going to be finished. Uh, my justification is going to be finished sometime soon, right? Oh shit, they're in Chinese United Front. They weren't before, were they? Well, I mean, they are getting fucked, right? So. So, presumably, we can just invade. And. Maybe we can claim some of China for ourselves before Japan does. Sounds like a great idea, I think. Totally, uh, totally indisputable idea. Okay, let's change this to non, maybe. Well, let's go for non right now. So it's free, and it'll give us, uh, it'll save on some of our political power gain. Um, I want to get the next manpower thing. I have 15 light tanks, wow. At least through war there'll be peace, or something like that. Let's, uh, let's send you up here, I think. Well, do we need all of them? Maybe not. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade this guy because he's got nothing. So I might as well uh, do it now. Let's change this. right to the back of the country and nice we have engineering company and no support equipment to um, help with that let's do this I think research bonus I'm gonna do that because uh, we have enough of this stuff already Actually, let's let's do more. And uh, now I need other shit. Aluminium. Oh god. What the Latin okay. Great. The Americans have officially gone fascist. Wait, all factories are free. Do I have factories? Did I misclick? Uh, let's do this, I think. Actually, I think maybe there was weapons thing I could uh, I could have researched. But, um, well, first, let's do this. Extensive conscription. That's, that's more like it. It's like a, a healthier manpower pool. Um oh things are happening. Let's slow down. So I want to look at if I have any yeah, let's change these guys because they're not well trained. Let's turn these guys into mountain divisions. We need to make these better because they they're horrifically bad. Holy cow. Can't send these guys into battle. Let me do this. I mean, 
will be way lacking, but... What are you, 18? What about artillery? What about some more artillery? There you go. You have lots of artillery. What the hell, man? Start land these. Okay. I mean, cheers. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I don't have the convoys for any of this. I'll just. I don't know. I'll just fucking take it because. I guess my convoy thing will work it out. Thanks for the free stuff, guys. Ah, oh, sharing is caring, right? That's why we're all communists, although we're not all communists, but uh, they're feeling the spirit.